First, I just want to thank the good Lord for this opportunity to uh, be the head coach of Kansas State and with this group of young men and uh, be playing in Madison Square Garden. I mean, uh, it's a dream come true for kids, adults. It doesn't matter if it's your first time as a head coach or like Coach Izzo, his 25th consecutive NCAA tournament. I mean, it, it's, it's just a blessing to be here and it's hard to do. And so extremely thankful. You know, no, it just worked out. Keeson uh, ish, uh, they were our chief recruiters, right? And uh, we were flipping over every rock, watching every film, talking to as many people as we could to try and assemble a team. And uh, they did a great job of hosting guys. And I think uh, the other guys felt comfortable knowing that we had some New York guys. But I think Kansas State has a history of having uh, good players from New York, Curtis Kelly. Um, J.O., you know, we, we've had multiple guys in the past, so, um, you know, I, I'm thankful for it. I know that. Every guy is kind of like senior night, except maybe on steroids. You know, your seniors, uh, some of them are going to try too hard, and some of them are going to try too hard to try to not try too hard, right? And you just have to see where it's at after that first media and then figure out what you have to say to each of them, and uh, we'll, we'll have a good feel for that. You know, I, like I say, big time players make big time plays and big time moments. And uh, this is the biggest stage for college basketball. And uh, I'm really thankful that, you know, we tell our guys all the time that hard work pays off. And I'm really thankful that God's allowing his hard work to pay off right now. Coach Izzo told me in the, out in front of the, the building that he just told a whole bunch of lies about me. <laughs> but Tom Izzo, man, is just a class act and I've followed him for a long time and the fact that as an assistant he knew my name it like blew me away you know and um, just to watch what he's done and um, how he's handled his program and loved his players and had like tremendous success on and off the court you know uh, uh, how he handled the tragedy at Michigan State this year um, I mean everybody can learn from that and uh, I was blessed to work with Scott and and he did a great job of helping prepare me for this and uh, he never, never treated me as an assistant, always told me to act like a head coach and treat the program like it was mine. So I, I do believe that when you're with guys like Judd Heathcote and Scott Drew, that you, those, those Hall of Fame kind of guys, they, they help prepare you. You learn so much from them so that you are ready for this. And, uh, and I'm just thankful. I, I told Coach Izzo, I'd, I wish it was me and him playing to see who goes to the Elite Eight, right? <laughs> it's going to be our teams, and so we're not going to do anything. It's about those guys out there on the floor. And I wouldn't want to shoot free throws against him, though, because I, I know he's really good at that.